Is your AC unit not cooling like it used to or not cool as you think it should? Well, let me show you a common problem that I come across. First thing we want to do is remove the inside cover for your air conditioning unit. They vary in how they're laid out and sometimes the screws are behind the filters but on this unit the screws are exposed so we're going to drop these screws down and we'll get a little closer and I'll show you what I'm looking for. On numerous occasions I have found this baffle that separates the return side from the cooling side of your air conditioner has fallen down. This one is tilted a little bit and it allows air to bypass and it actually can fall down relatively easy. And what that'll do, even if we remove this here, I can show you that this is where the cool air comes out on this side and it'll short circuit and go up into the return side and not come out of your vents. And now I'm going to take this side off to show you a little more on here and inspect the rest, rest of the unit. Now here's the one of the ducts. So as the cold air comes out through here from the blower fan, it gets forced into this duct on this side, which will come out through the out the duct work in the coach. There is also another one on this side. So you'll have two channels that are on this duct work to f that this unit feeds. And you can see up here that someone has already added this seal here. See it's kind of L-shaped and a little long. And that may be preventing that baffle from sitting straight up and down. So what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to use some material here to help seal this up and get your unit cooling the way it should. I'm going to put this baffle back up in there and you can see it sits right here on this plate. So I'm going to put this up in here first, kind of get it in position. And then I'm going to add the screws. Now we're going to use some duct tape to seal off this baffle. Now this is duct tape, not duct tape. And I'll put a link to what I use in the description below. So we're going to take a small section and just kind of measure out what we're going to need lengthwise by placing it up here and marking it off and this will tear very easy. And this is the aluminum tape so it forms really easy and it is quite sticky. So when you put, peel it off, be sure to hold both ends so it doesn't fold back on itself. Form it to the area you want it to go. Push in one side first. Get it close to the corner and then go across to the other side.
have this all buttoned up, we can test it out and see how well it cools off the RV. But that'll do it for this video. Uh, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next video.